Hello, everybody. Uh, John here. Um, I was just reading in KSL this morning a very disturbing report about San Diego Comic-Con uh, winning a judgment against Salt Lake City Fanex, uh, which used to be the Salt Lake Comic-Con, uh, a prestigious event in Utah. Um, it's disturbing on several levels. The good that the uh, Fanex has done here in Utah um, for all groups concerned, cosplayers, com you know, uh, regular Comic Con attendees, the, the curious, even the uh, even the celebrities that come here, great time here in Salt Lake City, you know, out here in Utah. Um, if this judgment goes through and it's not stopped, it's going to set a dangerous precedent for Comic Cons and uh, fandoms nationally and globally. San Diego is trying to monopolize the word Comic-Con, um, and this has a far-reaching impact, uh, I think even far, far more reaching than most people are understanding. Um, the fans are going to be hurt, which is something I don't think they're taking into consideration. Uh, this is definitely a monopolizing play by San Diego. Uh, it'll be a travesty if this actually goes through and Dan F and Fanex here in Salt Lake goes down. We're going to lose a major part uh, of the entertainment industry here in Utah and here in here in the West in general. Um, I know that uh, there are a lot of groups that depend on Fanex and the hype and, and there's definitely a lot of um, economic um, impact that's going to happen if this continues and goes through. San Diego, shame on you. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. Um, this is not something you need to monopolize. This is not something you need to enforce. This is a pure money grab. We know it. The fans know it. Uh, the people, everybody involved knows it. Uh, eliminating a, um, a another player in the Comic-Con industry, in, you know, in the bringing... Uh, fun and uh, good times and e an economic boost to a to a city and a state. Um, you know, trying to eliminate them for doing something similar to what you do is there's no need for this. There are room for both of you. Um, I have lost for you. I think most of the fandoms are going to lose respect for you if they haven't already. Um, we understand you're the big you were the big player in in the you know. In the woods but there is a place for everyone else you have no idea the impact you're making on the state of utah on the people of utah and the fandoms around the world this is you really need to take this into um into account there are a lot of people going to be hurt here what you consider the little people the people that keep you in business and and the the people that keep you know, coming to Fanex and Salt Lake City Comic Con year after year after year are all going to be affected by this action that you're taking. This is a travesty, people. I'm, I'm hoping that everybody that I know, everybody that watches this and everybody that, uh, you know, I'm going to spread it as far as I can about this, about what you're doing. Um, it needs to be told. This, this is something that needs to be stopped. You need to be stopped. You need to be scolded. It, this is not something that is, oh, just a corporation going after a corporation. This has a far-reaching impact. Uh, and there are a lot of people that are going to miss Fanex. Um, it's going to impact a lot of people, hundreds of thousands of people. And if this verdict goes through and the judges that are involved, I hope you see this or get wind of this, but... You really need to take into account that um, the people that are going to be hurt are not just the key players on both sides in San Diego and in Salt Lake. They're going to be the people like me, my wife, my children, uh, my friends, my family, and people I don't even know here in the state of Utah. The people need to be ta taken care of and taken into account. Uh, not just the money, not just the convention, not just the produ producers behind the convention. Um, there is so much more at stake in this, and I can tell you this, 
anybody listening from the East Coast or anybody that sees this from the East Coast, San Diego is going to be coming after New York, uh, the New York Comic Con next, if they haven't already started action. So just be waiting for that. Um, they're going to take down everybody that uses the name Comic Con. Um, just about every uh, fandom uh, convention in the States and, and worldwide is going to be open game, and this is going to be open season if this goes through. And just some food for thought from a Comic-Con attendee, and I love Fan X. I think that it's one of the best things that ever happened um, here in the state of Utah, and I hope people step up and take notice and figure out what's going on and let people know that, you know, there's more at stake than just a convention. This is people's lives. It impacts people's lives. People wait the entire year. They build their their costumes. It, you know, it takes an entire year, sometimes longer, to get ready for a convention or, a, you know, a future convention. Uh, there is going to be a long, hard-reaching impact. At any rate, that's what I wanted to say today, and I really hope, San Diego, I hope you decide that the fans and the people that have supported you throughout the years and the other fandoms and, and the other convention goers and people that can't make it to San Diego that have no other option than to see, you know, in their local towns or cities or states. Um, I hope that uh, hurting all of us um, makes you happy. If, if that's what you're truly after is hurting the fans in, in the fandoms. And the stars that we support and the stars that we love and the people, you know, the people that make the fandoms, you know, possible. If that's really what you're after, then you're really not even worth going to. That's my thoughts for today. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.